Hi, I'm Mark Hansen, President and Co-Founder of Megalytic. I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook reporting template for your agency. Log in to Megalytic and create a new report by clicking on New Report. We're going to start with a blank report and give it a name like uh, Facebook Template. Now the first thing you're going to do is find the Facebook widgets in the widget library here. So type Facebook into the search bar and you'll see there are a bunch of blue ones and white ones. The blue ones connect to Facebook pages and the white ones connect to the Facebook ads account. So let's say we want to start off with some KPIs from the ads account. I'm going to drag the ads multi KPI into my report. Use the ads account that I want to use. Close the widget library so we can see a little bit better. And now I'm going to go look at the uh, previous month's data. And the widget automatically compares the last month versus month ago, so month over month. And then <coughs> the last month versus year ago, so we have year over year. And now let's say I want to change these metrics up a little bit. I simply open the widget editor, scroll down. I want to look maybe at videos. And I've got to get rid of a few of these. I'm going to go to actions. And I'm going to add cost per click and video views. So there now I've got the metrics that I want to use, reach, amount spent, three second video views, cost per click, comparing this month versus, or the previous month versus last month versus year ago. Now let's say I want to also pull in some data from our Facebook page. I would go back to add widget to open the widget library and now let's say I want to bring in the uh, posts that I've published in the last few months. So I'll go to this widget, drag in posts published, pick the Facebook page. Again, I'll close the widget library so we can see better. And now we see a list of the last few posts that I've made to the, the page. I can change the time range. Let's say I want to look at a little more data, like the last 60 days. I can do that. And you see I've got reach, engaged users, and likes. I can change up those metrics also if I want. Let's say I want to look at, at comments instead of engaged users. Click apply. And then I have comments over here. So I will continue like this, adding various widgets from the ad side or the page side till I get uh, a template that covers pretty much what I want to show to most of my Facebook clients. And once that's set, I save it as a template by going up to this bar here. Click Save as Template. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it My Facebook Template. And then every time I want to create a new report for a different client, I can reuse this template. Click on New Report. Go to My Templates. Scroll down. You can see my Facebook template here, the one I just made. Now what Megalytics is going to ask me to do is select the ads account and the Facebook page. That's so Megalytic knows which data to use to pull in to the report. So you would just pick the ads account and the page for your client. Click add and the report is automatically created. And that's all there is to it.